Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this op-amp circuit and we have been asked to find the voltage Vx. Now in this question, we have been given that both op-amps are ideal op-amp. And here, both op-amps are operated with the negative feedback. That means here, we can apply the concept of the virtual short. That means for the first op-amp, This voltage V plus is equal to V minus is equal to 5 volt. That means this voltage will also appear at the negative terminal. Similarly, for the second op-amp, the voltage V plus is equal to V minus is equal to 3 volt. That means this 3 volt will also appear over here. And at this node, the voltage is equal to Vx. Now just by looking at the circuit, we might get tempted to apply the KCL at this node. But here we don't know the current which is supplied by this op-amp. So instead of applying the KCL at this node, we can apply the KCL over here. So let's apply the KCL at this node and let us find the value of the Vx. So at this node, actually three currents are leaving the node. Let's say this current is equal to I1, this current is equal to I2 and this current is equal to I3. So applying the KCL we can write current I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. That means 5 volt minus 0 divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 5 volt minus Vx divided by 1 kilo ohm plus 5 minus 3 volt divided by 1 kilo ohm is equal to 0. That means 5 plus 5 plus 2 divided by 1 kilo ohm is equal to Vx divided by 1 kilo ohm. Or we can say that this voltage Vx is equal to 12 volt. So in this way, we got the value of the Vx as 12 volt. 